When traveling through the Philippines, you'll use all kinds of transportation. You for sure have to try riding the famous jeepney or jump on one of the tricycle. For long distances, the plane is of course well known. However, we tried something else. This! Today we are going from Cebu to Manila with the Tugo Malagia Ferry, the newest ferry that joined the Tugo fleet. This journey takes almost 24 hours. In these 24 hours, we'll eat, sleep, enjoy the beautiful sunset, and maybe do karaoke. So, join us on our adventures in the Philippines. You really have to print your tickets. You have to take the paper print out because they don't accept you showing your phone. I thought we were living in 2023, all digital. We are entering a terminal, so you have to pay terminal fee, 25 pesos per person. But the check-in went super smooth, like super quick. They say be there four hours before. Now it took us 20 minutes with printing. First Dunkin' Donut in the Philippines, but the Dunkin' Donuts look really different here than uh, other Dunkin' Donut places. Mm. Donut cinnamon roll, oh, I like it. Adi, did you hear that? Yeah. There are not just humans on this boat. There it is. <laughs> we are getting closer to the boat. Wow. And it's our first time being on such a big ferry. Yeah, and I'm really yeah. curious, like, how does it suit us? No, do can we really go on a cruise where you have to be on this boat for yeah. maybe a week or maybe months? It looks Massive. Now there are still people boarding the ferry and a lot of things are being loaded on the ferry. So let's go inside and give you a tour. And our bags are just left there. They just said, oh, just go there, make photos. And there's so many trucks going on here. So yeah. It, it's huge. Like we, they parked so many trucks in there. Yeah, it's really, I'm really curious about what is inside. Welcome to Cebu. I'm happy that they do this. We know it's safe inside. Carry your own things. Sir, uh, I explain. Uh, after I assist you to your accommodation, you may go to the our restaurant to yeah. get your free meal, sir. Okay, okay. nice. Free meal sounds good. We checked in the room. It looks amazing. So we so, is gonna give us time a time to show you. Come in, come in. It's the state room. We have number three hundred two. Is it the best room? Yes, it's the best room. Oh. And you might think it's really expensive, but it's not. We'll tell you more about that later. This is your grand entrance, and here you have a wardrobe to hang all of your clothes. And there's even a fridge here. Oh, is there something inside the fridge? Oh. No, no, I just want to say we don't have any food as well to put in the fridge. So maybe there's some snacks in the supermarket. You can explore that later. But if you come from here, this is our room. See how big it is. We're on a boat, eh? Like two proper sized beds. And we'll... Oh, it almost seems that we're steering the boat from yeah. here. <laughs> and the, a television. Oh, maybe it's a smart television. And look at the view. We have two big windows and you can see the ocean. And wow, this is going to be cool, Eddie. Maybe I just sit here a lot of hours. I'm really impressed. Like I knew it was a good room what we would have get because it was the most expensive but I didn't have a clue it was this good and grand you know normally a boat you're like really stuck to each other everything is small and we didn't show you the bathroom oh. yet look at this there's a Japanese toilet like there's all gadget with music and uh, this thing which you always use <laughs> oh yeah jet and there's a bathtub you can go in a dip oh, really? Like that. yeah I'm just not sure if I will fit maybe no yeah not really it's like flush. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought there was something wrong with the boat. And we are hungry, and guess what? Our lunch, dinner, breakfast, everything is included. So I think here is where we're going to have lunch. And there's a karaoke going on. I think they also have a special karaoke room. So maybe you can ask about it later, see if you can reserve it. Did you know it's business class? State room. State room. State room. You can have your food at the Horizon Cafe. Oh, we can go there? Yes. Okay. Alright, that was my 
we are having a state room, we can have our food here. It's more quiet, more luxury. We got mushroom soup, vegetarian. Oh, nice. It's almost 2 o'clock and we are still not moving, so which might mean that uh, we would reach Malila a bit later tomorrow morning. Uh, we should have left at 11 a.m. Then we got an email that we would have left at 12.30 because of technical, technical difficulties. Yeah. And now it's 2 o'clock. So it's 11, 12, 1, 3 hours later. So we arrived from Manila around 12, 11. We asked for some egg and they made us a really nice omelet. Found a supermarket. Emergency snacks. So if something goes wrong, we can live on Milo and beer. Oh, it can be nice to try some uh, Filipino snacks. Whoa. And we also have a saloon, so maybe I can do my nails or Adi can get a haircut. There's also a clinic, so if something happens to you, no worries, there's a clinic. But it was a bit close. Hopefully there's a doctor behind the door. <laughs> and there's a prayer room, of course. It looks like a shopping mall, look. I'm a bit shy. <laughs> so shy. I've never done it. I want to practice once, but just with the two of us, and then I maybe you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Got some Oreo milkshake. Look at these desserts. Yeah, until now everything sweet what we have in the Philippines is really good. Business class in charge. Kindly proceed at the front desk. On the double please. Thank you. Oh, it's not for us. I thought it was an announcement that we were finally going because guess what? It's three o'clock and we're still standing still. Oh, Mira, we are moving! <gasps> no way, we're moving! Oh, we didn't know! That's stupid. How far we left Cebu behind? Nah, crazy that you just don't feel it at all. But why they don't announce? Oh, be careful, we're moving, hold your hands. <laughs> hold your hands, hold, hold the ceiling. Hold something. Mm. Okay, one sip, one sip. Oh. I really hope that we will see some wildlife. Maybe we see a dolphin or maybe we see a whale. What are the chances you think? We are enjoying the view of the sunset from our room, but what is a better way to enjoy the sunset views? From outside! Yeah, Woo! but what? I do you think the karaoke would be still going on? Oof, I think karaoke will be 24 7. It's so karaoke. cozy and everybody's having fun. Some people yeah. are making fun of their friends and stuff. It's cool. But maybe we can also go. I'm a bit shy oh, too. I think <laughs> Adi needs like 10, 20 beers to go. Yeah. Maybe I, I would just want to try it first. Once, <laughs> you know? like, can I even get one bird out? <laughs> See? Still going on. Yeah. They come down. Yeah. <laughs> Mira is still in a hope to see dolphins, so let's hope that your dream comes true. No, I really think I'm 100% sure there must be animals here, dolphins. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's like a needle in a hay, uh, hay mountain, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But like we are going through Philippines in between all the islands, yeah. so we are never at a place where there's no land, there's always land and it looks incredible, amazing, incredible. Amazing. Did you find any dolphins? Oh. Every time I think, but no. We just met a local and he went from Manila to Cebu and now he's coming back to Cebu to Manila, just like in one day or not like two days. Just to, like, just to experience this boat, like how amazing is that? And I have to say to him, I can understand him, like it is amazing. Now Mira is waiting for the thunder. <laughs> We're standing here for 20 minutes. And now 
we go for dinner and let's see what do they have. I don't know why there's a queue here. It's the queue for karaoke. Really? Yeah. It turned out not to be the karaoke line, but the food dinner line. I can understand. And uh, what they get is rice with four balls, meatballs, with some uh, sweet sauce. Hi. I always want to have a Mickey. You can take one for our room. It is really pretty, and it's really not that expensive. <laughs> so you can hear with the child how to make it happen. And if you forget your clothes, no worries, you can buy a beautiful Manila Vidbin shirt for 250, 5 euros. That's not ugly. Mm, the omelets they do good. Mm. On a bright side, it's all healthy, so mm -hmm. maybe we can go for another Oreo shake. Yeah. from the ocean it's almost seven o'clock and it's amazing it's already super warm the sun is coming up there we had a great great night's sleep and guess what another omelet so three times omelet but i was thinking about it and i think we must be really happy that they at least make vegetarian food they can also say yeah sorry no food for you what happens a lot in airlines So we did a little bit of sightseeing upstairs and it's now just so perfect there. It's really warm, not that strong wind, you just so you can just sit there and enjoy the views. A lot of people doing it. And now it's time to collect some snacks around this ship for a Filipino test snack review. Oh, we already see the first garlic flavor peanuts. That's the one for Adi for in his basket. Mr. Chips. I think it's Filipino. Chocolate coated biscuits. Oh, source of vitamin A and iron. Pee wee. They have uh, interesting names. Oh, I've never had that. The nutty caramel popcorn is something new. I'm always excited for snacks. And I think all of them are promising. They look delicious. It's time to review all the delicious Filipino snacks. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, Mr. Chips. Corn something with cheese. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. It's pretty, and it's not fried. I think it's uh, oven baked or so. 7.5? Yeah, me too. 7.5, 8, but for nacho chips. So now we have the Pee Wee Sizzling Barbecue Flavored Pee Snack. Weed. No, not the cookies. I know how to do it. Oh, I want to explode it. Oh, really? Yeah, too late. <laughs> now you have to eat it. You stir the whole thing down. Oh, they're a baby. Oh, four out of them. I got this one at the ferry station. It has zero trans fat, zero cholesterol. Yeah. Pretty healthy. There's also something written in Japanese, so maybe it's a Japanese snack. And it comes in a bowl like this. Zero out of ten. Bowl. Looks like dog food. It's really nice. I mean, uh, really not nice. But I'm sh more confident about the popcorn. Nutty caramel popcorn. You see there are some nuts on it. Oh, I'm getting a bit seasick. Ooh. It's good. Oh, nice. Looks like a proper candy. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Do you <laughs> taste nut? No, I taste a lot of caramel. caramel. But it's really nice. But really nice caramel flavor. Yeah, something here. What is that? Nick. Knickknacks, chocolate, biscuits. biscuits. I think they sell this to children because it's a source of vitamin and iron. Did you know that? Oh, knickknock is a source of vitamin A and iron. They really Ooh. want to believe you that. Oh! Oh, it's really for kids. Look, like a chocolate. What is it? You do pay, taste a little bit of chocolate in the end. This is also a chocolate flavor sticks. And you know, these kind of things that you have to dip it in something? Mm. I've never had it. Really? Yeah. Like so it's like this. Chocolate bath in it. Ooh, cow moo. You also have cow? Oh, no, no, no. They all have different tags. Mouse. Mouse. So your children can also learn from this. Ooh. Oh, I think we took a lot of chocolate. 
That's disappointing. And next one what we have is the home brand called Pesto or Presto. Cookie with peanut butter and peanut butter is one of our favorite things. Mm. I can just go like this. Mm. I mean it just tastes like the proper peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. So good. Nice. Now we still have three hours to kill. See you in the next one. Bye.